I love broken games. But what I love even more is suffering through those games to get every achievement. To do that, we need to complete the campaign on Veteran, do all of the zombies easter eggs, and finish up in multiplayer where we can prestige to get our final achievement. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because for our first achievement, Unexpected Move, we need to complete the first mission, Bishop Takes Rook, where we relearn the COD basics. Oh, oh, watch out, brother. I'm still wearing my buttons. Let's go, Omni Movement time. Uh... We won't count that one. After finding our target and learning about this game's bad guy's pantheon, what are you looking at? You want a kiss? We find something even greater. Yes. Y'all messed up giving me this. Don't worry, I got this. It's my time to shine. Look out! With the helicopter destroyed, we escape to complete our first mission and achievement. Unexpected move. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. For the next achievement, talent acquisition, we need to complete the mission Blood Feud, where it's time for us to get sneaky. I mean to spook ya. After making it to our position, we get ready to take the shot, but we are first distracted by a smell. Oh, someone hitting the stanky light. I knew I smelled something. With the target down, we make our escape to the next part of the mission, where we can get our first two missable achievements. The first being Close Combat Specialist, for performing 10 takedowns in campaign. Oh, not on the chair. Close Combat Specialist, let's go. And the second, Covert Agent, which we got accidentally for making it to the guild meeting without being spotted. Pop, 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 pop. Don't you dare turn farther. Covert agent. Yep, got that one on purpose. Now here's where things start to get crazy. Let me shoot, let me shoot, let me shoot, let me shoot, let me shoot. In fact, things got so crazy that I got a tiny bit trigger happy. Oh, freak. Sorry, sorry, guys. I didn't know. It's my first time here. At the end of the chase, we politely ask him to stop his limo, then confirm our kill to finish up our second mission. Yeah, he's dead. Talent acquisition. Complete blood feud and campaign on any difficulty. Before heading into the third mission, we are put into our safe house. Here we are able to unlock upgrades that make the missions a bit easier. And as you may have guessed, we'll have to unlock every single one. But don't worry, to get them all it costs about 15,000. And after two missions we have... Okay, maybe you can worry a bit. For our next achievement breaking news, we need to complete the mission Most Wanted. And thanks to all of our new upgrades, we should have a much easier time taking pictures. After we get our very important pictures, it's time to get our next missable achievement, Parties Over, where we need to perform five takedowns on the guards without getting spotted. Why the frick are you back here? Freak. 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 Darn it, freak. Go to sleep. Party's over. All right, now we can actually finish the mission. With the original photo not being good enough, we have to get a bit closer for our second one. Be careful, fellas. Oh, I guess I have to press it in that time span. With the photo obtained, it's time to sneak underground where we can finally start fighting. Uh-oh. <laughs> I panicked. Here we can free Adler and fight our way out through Pantheon, but not without getting our next missable achievement, Rapid Reflexes, where we need to get five headshot kills in one use of the Adrenaline Stem. Using this stem, we can slow down time, making the game a ton easier. Rapid Reflexes, they can't stop me. And then I get one shot. Full health. We then get an epic chase scene where I can show Adler how good of a shot I am. Oh, sorry Adler. Sorry about that. Breaking news. Now back at the safe house, it's time to put on our thinking caps and solve some puzzles. Because for our next achievement, the Puzzles Mason, we need to complete all safe house puzzles. They're all pretty easy and straightforward. The part I struggled with the most was finding the safe. Which was not even part of the puzzle. Am I stupid or something? Where's the freaking safe? Finally. The Puzzles Mason. Embarrassing! For completing our next mission hunting season, we get the achievement Bunker Busters, where we instantly get a bit of a confidence boost because I may have felt dumb by not finding the safe, but at least I didn't decide to set up a base next to a bomb that's on fire. We're building our lay up here. Ignoring that, we are given a tack map with three objectives we need to do, but for us, they all need to be done because for our next missable achievement, full clear, we need to complete every single one of these POIs, which we of course did without a single casualty. What the frick? How am I supposed to know who's who? <laughs> My fault, y'all. After protecting our soldiers so well, I am rewarded with a chopper gunner, allowing us to earn the missable achievement, Destructive Wake, gotten by getting five or more kills with a single score streak. Oh, that was an achievement. Destructive Wake, get five or more kills with a single score streak in campaign. We definitely got the or more part. Using our missile on the bad guys this time, we finish up our final POI. 
Full clear. In hunt season, complete every POI on the tech map. With only a few objectives left in this mission, we find a ton of money to go towards our safe house. Really? $270? Look at all this. Why is there even just a stack of cash down here anyways? And flawlessly protect the helicopter on the roof. What the frick am I supposed to do about that? Allowing us to escape with a happy reunion. Monka boss does complete haunt season in the cradle. We get our next achievement head games for completing the scariest mission in the game, Emergence, where we discover our character Case's full name. Golly, how much do I weigh? We're playing as Queso, aren't we? Hitting the water, our gas mask breaks, causing us to inhale the toxic gas. This is when things start to get a bit spooky. Oh, great. Our main goal here is to get all four key cards and get out of here as fast as possible, which we were able to do without getting scared a single time. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! What the frick? Finally! Thank you, get me out of that crap. Head games, complete emergence and campaign on any difficulty. But things are looking up from here because for our next achievement jackpot, we need to complete the mission High Rollers. Yeah, don't let me gamble. Do not let me gamble. Not only are we gambling, but we are doing it my favorite way, by cheating. Eventually, after stealing some info and key cards, we make our way down to the vault where the real money is. We then steal the data needed and can make our escape. Bro, we won all that money on the slots. We won all the money on poker and even broke into the safe and left with only $270. No wonder we're broke. Jackpot. For our next achievement grounded, we need to complete the mission ground control, where like every COD, we need to fight through an airport. Every dollar counts. I need that. Move, Sam, move! Eventually we reach a tank where we get our next missable achievement bulldozed for crushing 25 enemies in the tank. Can y'all please move? I am trying to drive here. There we go. 25 enemies while driving the tank. Bulldoze. Boom! Now it's time to shoot! Using the tank, we take down the plane to finish the mission. Whoa. Is that a mission objective? What? 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 Grounded. Complete ground control on any campaign on any difficulty. For completing the next mission under the radar, we get the achievement Consolation Prize, where we need to blend in and sabotage Pantheon's base. Alright, chill out. Everybody stay calm. Please don't come in, I'm doing something. <sighs> Look what y'all made me do. This also needs to be done a certain way, because for the missable achievement Skewer the Winged Beast, we need to hack the SAM turret to take out itself and the helicopter. There we go, Skewer the Winged Beast. While here, we also find out Haro is working for Pantheon, so our new mission objective is to capture her alive, which gave me the chance to get our next achievement, Seek and Destroy, by getting two kills with a remote controlled throwing knife from 50 meters. Yes! Seek and Destroy. Is that a rocket? Eventually catching up to Haro, she talks so much that it causes my game to crash for the first of many times. No. I'm begging. No. Getting back there again, we capture Haro. Oh frick. I was looking at my phone. Sorry, Haro. Oh, sorry guys. Frick. I'm ready this time. Constellation Prize. Complete under the radar in campaign on any difficulty. For our next two achievements, Capital Punishment and Buried at Sea, we need to complete the mission Separation Anxiety and Checkmate. Separation Anxiety takes place in Haro's mind, where she is reliving her past and trying to get us the info we need because we drugged her for it. Whoa! Oh, I didn't think it'd let me do it. While that's going on, at the same time we are playing as Case in the mission Checkmate, which is pretty straightforward. We just need to defend the base. What are you doing, man? We need those. Sorry, bro. Chill. After switching back and forth a few times, we complete Haro's side for our achievement. Golly, he had to whip that thing so the blades wouldn't get him. Let's go, capital punishment. And with the drug worn off, she decides to make an escape. But don't worry, we can catch her pretty easily. Eh. <laughs> My fault, y'all. Finally caught up to the helicopter, we get our final dramatic cutscene to finish our final mission. I hope no one steps on my hands. No! 
Oh my gosh, why are you doing this to me, game? This awards us three achievements. Boom, case in point, Baronet C, case closed. One for completing Checkmate, but also for completing the campaign and for doing it all on Veteran. Now we only have two achievements left to clean up in the campaign. The first one being David versus Goliath, which we get in Checkmate by destroying the APC using an RCXD. Go, quick. There we go, David versus Goliath. Now our final campaign achievement is Dipped in Gold which we get by unlocking every single safe house upgrade. This mainly consisted of me running the mission ground control over and over, since it had the most elites, and every time an elite is killed, they drop us cash. So finally, we can use our money to get the last safe house upgrade, completing the campaign. Let's go! Dipped in gold, we are done with campaign. But we are nowhere near done because we still have all multiplayer achievements and zombies achievements to get. Starting with multiplayer, we get our first achievement here doing your part for completing the training course. Which is a good thing, because it's been a while since I played COD at all, so even after the campaign I'm still a bit rusty. Oh frick. Yep. Yeah, I accidentally threw a grenade at the ground. Doing your part, complete the training course in multiplayer. Now it's time for us to get into the real action, so we fill out our code of conduct and get to work grinding towards that prestige. Nice. <laughs> yeah. For our next achievement rush hour, we need to get a double kill using an RCXD, which I was lucky enough to get with my first one. Hey, rush hour, get a double kill with the RCXD. The next achievement, Stylish Kill, we earn by getting 75 eliminations with a combat specialty perk active. These are new to COD and can be activated by equipping all three of the same perk types, giving a specialty perk for an extra bonus effect. But I got the achievement when I wasn't even killing anyone, so I don't know what happened. Stylish Kill, wow, that was really anticlimactic. Staying on the topic of kills, for our next achievement the Pale Horse arrives, we need to get 500 multiplayer eliminations. And since I was trying to level up fast, I was only playing Domination and Hardpoint, meaning we reached those 500 kills super fast. The Pale Horse arrives! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry about that. This also ties into our next achievement show off, which we get for earning our first mastery badge. Depending on what weapon you are using, these can all be earned in different ways. Since I was using an AR, all I needed to do was get 450 kills with it. Oh, show off. Earn a mastery badge. Let's go. Our next two achievements are tied together. Heavy Ordnance Specialist we get for destroying 50 aerial score streaks with launchers. And camos are forever for unlocking any diamond or opal camo. And the diamond camo we were going for was on our rocket launchers. So this also required us to shoot down a ton of score streaks. Hey, Heavy Ordnance Specialist. I got an achievement. Hey, I did it! Camos are forever, unlike any diamond or opal camo. Our next achievement, Red Carpet, we get by earning the best play three times. Which took a lot longer than I like to admit. Hey, Red Carpet, get featured in the best play three times. That means I'm about to have the best play right here. That's me! That's me! And the final achievement before switching to zombies is Podium Finish, which we get for winning our 25th multiplayer match. Yeah, I found them all. Where are they? C. C. Good call oh, out. <laughs> Let's go! Podium finish. Win 25 multiplayer matches. It's gonna look like we are insane at this game whenever. <laughs> like, dang, they went 250 to 27. And for our final two multiplayer achievements, we need to be a higher level. So now it's time for us to take on zombies. For our first zombies achievement, World Domination, we need to head into the map Liberty Falls and start collecting the parts to make the jet gun. Using the jet gun, we can then suck up these tiny figurines all around the map. After collecting them all, we are transformed for one round and get our achievement. World Domination. For our next achievement, Deadwood, we need to score a 300 in bowling. This is activated by shooting the five pairs of bowling shoes around the map. We are then teleported into the bowling minigame. Deadwood, let's go. To get the achievement to know your enemy, we need to get 100 kills using the Mutant Injector. This item is new to COD and can be dropped by zombies or bought using parts. Using it, we are turned into one of the Manglers, making us invincible and doing a ton of damage. Oh. To know your enemy. Let's go. Our final achievement here at Liberty Falls is Bye Bye Dark Ether, where we need to complete the main Easter egg. We start it by interacting with this device. We then make the jet gun and use it to grab three parts to build another device. We then take out a canister, 
place the canister, place the device, protect the device, big guy spawns in, kill near canister, and return canister to big device. This gives us a Strauss collector. Using this, we can match these devices to the correct color and unlock another canister, which we fill up the same as the last, and return it to the correct spot. We are then locked in the church, where we need to survive long enough for this thing to go off. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess we take those. I don't know how I did it. I thought I died, but let's go. Now we move on to the next zombies map, Terminus, with our first achievement, Treasure Hunter. This can be started by buying Melee Macchiato, punching down this wall, and talking to the pirate ghost. We then need to go to the X on his map. At that location, we find a golden watch. Returning it to him, we get three more locations. At each one, there is a skeleton. Setting them on fire summons a boss zombie, which we need to kill and collect the golden coin from each one. Returning the three coins, we get a few golden weapons and a final location. Once there, we need to survive three rounds, which spawns in the treasure. The item given doubles all points earned, but also makes it where every time you get hit, you lose points. For our next achievement, Culinary Delight, we need to eat a special fish. We just grab a few items around the map, fish up our fish, ethically, and throw them all in a pan. One round later, we can eat it for the achievement, which I accidentally forgot to record, but here's the achievement. For our final zombies achievement, Nomo Modi, we need to complete Terminus's main Easter egg. This one is a lot more complicated than the last, but I'll be quick. We need to get the wonder weapon, Finally. which we got from the box. Oh, I was about to say. Well, that you too. dropped the ray gun. You are dropping the wrong guns every time. Oh, boy, if you don't figure out how to drop the friggin' <laughs> LMG. Activate and shoot this trap until it drops an item. Turn in that item, discover this candy. guy, find the code to unlock him, put in the code, then unalive him. Go grab pipes, fix pipes, yep. hack buoys, defuse bombs, and finally, kill the giant boss. Oh, achievement unlocked, no mo modi. For our final two achievements, we need to head back to multiplayer. But before that, I have something to confess. There is actually four achievements left. Annihilation and Cyberized. For Annihilation, we are required to kill 100 elite zombies. And for Cyberized, we need to research all augments for 10 items. And after 20 hours in zombies and getting every single achievement, I was this far on one augment research and only had five elite kills. So I knew something had to be wrong and I thought I would test it. I loaded in and went to round 21 in Xfield twice, each time gaining only this much progress with my elite kills not moving at all. So I hope you will forgive me, but for some reason these achievements were not working for me. Anyways, now we can end on a more positive note. For our second to last achievement betrayal, we need to kill an enemy from close range while disguised as a sleeper agent. This item is unlocked at level 51 and allows you to be viewed by the other team as one of their teammates, making it super easy to sneak up and get that kill. And the smoke helps too. Betrayal. Just one more. And now our final achievement. For Return of the King, we need to enter Prestige 1. And after all this time spent in multiplayer grinding and the zombies I've killed, I was ready. We had already hit max level and all that remained was to just hold down the button. Let's go. We're done. All achievements in Black Ops 6. Except those two, we'll, we'll ignore that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and let me know what game I should do next. Peace.